For many people, high blood pressure is a real issue. But for me, I've been dealing with the opposite. Over the last year, I've been having symptoms of low blood pressure and my blood pressure readings have been quite low. And to some people, that's like fantastic. But if you're having symptoms, it's a problem. And that's what I've been dealing with. So over the last month, I've been doing an at-home experiment of sorts, almost like an elimination diet with my supplements because I've come to realize that I really think that it is a supplement or a combination of supplements contributing to these issues. So I stopped all of my supplements for a while and I then started to reintroduce things here and there. And through doing that, I've discovered the two supplements that were causing me the most problems. In my opinion, I could be wrong, you guys. This is gonna be an ongoing experiment. I could get a lot more detailed than I am right now, but I have been keeping a log of different blood pressure readings. I'm gonna share some of them with you in a second. Now, before I get into what I discovered, I will tell you basically what my symptoms were over the last year. It hasn't been a constant issue, but at certain times it has been. I've honestly just been ignoring the symptoms as much as possible but i've just realized recently like what am i doing i need to address this and figure it out because it's not normal for me now for me my blood pressure many years ago i was a lot less healthy it was pretty high so i was given a blood pressure cuff to take home and to use it so i have a good one and back in the day i would say it was more along the lines of 140 ish 144 over 90 around there now with that said it hasn't been that high in a long time so over the last year however many years i'm not sure like i said the average i'd say the average more recently over the last few years was probably closer to like 130 over 80 which is fine but over the last year like i said it's more like 99 over 60. so the symptoms i've been having or the symptoms i've experienced over the last year that are worse when it's warmer out or when I'm doing intense work outside. The symptoms are basically like feeling some type of weakness. When I stand up, I'm blacking out. So a year ago, I was working outside with my son. We were putting in a patio with flagstone pavers. We were breaking rocks in the hot sun, doing some really intense work with these heavy rocks. And that's when it was at, it's, my symptoms were at their worst. I went to the doctor, talked to them. It's okay to have a low blood pressure as long as you're not having symptoms. If you're having symptoms, that's a problem. And if it's too low, you can have organ damage, all very concerning. So you want it to be in a normal range where you feel fine. So the symptoms after that, I think, became less severe over the last year. Really, they probably weren't very bad. But then since it's summertime, they're creeping up again. So I'm finally dealing with my problem and addressing it. Now, this is how powerful supplements can be because I've discovered that two of my favorite supplements could be the culprits uh, in causing these issues. And this was through trial and error. I've personally noticed that quercetin, one of my, like these are my two favorite supplements of all time, quercetin and turmeric. I'm saying it properly, guys. Um, some people call it turmeric and or curcumin. These two supplements, I feel like when I take them together, their synergistic effect is profound on my blood pressure. I feel like they have quite a strong effect, and especially when I take it day after day after day. I've noticed just through trial and error over the last month to month and a half while doing this experiment that I so far am okay with adding one in here, adding one in there. I haven't tried taking them on the same day, and I haven't been taking them day after day. So this experiment that I've done is kind of a rough, very rough experiment, and I need to continue on with it if I really wanted to figure out what is affecting me so much and if I can take these together. I'm gonna to keep you guys posted on that. Until then, I have discovered some interesting research. I found two meta-analysis papers. So a bunch of researchers, they looked into all the different papers out there and they used randomized control trials for the turmeric and same thing for the quercetin. And they had some interesting data that I'm gonna share with you right here. For the quercetin, researchers gathered studies from numerous databases. They analyzed 10 randomized control trials with 841 participants total. The results showed that quercetin supplementation significantly decreased systolic blood pressure in the overall population and in people with normal blood pressure. It also reduced diastolic blood pressure in those who initially had high blood pressure issues. 
So that was very interesting. Now, the next one I found was the meta-analysis for turmeric, and there were 11 studies with 734 participants total. Overall, it was shown that turmeric did not have a significant impact on blood pressure levels, but when analyzed further, a significant reduction in systolic blood pressure was observed in studies with a duration of 12 weeks or longer. They said that it showed no impact on diastolic blood pressure. They also did not notice the difference between subgroups, whether someone started with normal blood pressure or if they were already dealing with high blood pressure. So that was surprising. I wish that there would be a study on quercetin with turmeric because just from my personal experiences, I feel like those two together are really packing a punch if what you're going for is trying to lower your levels. And I mean both levels, the diastolic and systolic. I'm not 100% certain on all of this, but I just wanted to share these experiences with you guys. So here you can see some of my blood pressure readings. And of course this varies from the time of day you're doing it. And there's so many different factors, but overall I feel like my blood pressure readings were quite low prior to stopping the supplements and since stopping the supplements it took a little while for them to raise up a little bit i feel like one of the last readings or the very last reading with 110 over 74 is a bit closer to how my readings have been recently since i have stopped taking both of these supplements i would say like 110 to 115 over 70 74 something like that is a bit more normal for me right now but like i said it does vary quite a lot but overall i have not had symptoms since i stopped taking them regularly i'm still loving these supplements and i'm still going to take them but this experiment must go on so i can figure out what i'm okay with and what i'm not okay with i feel like i was just taking them for such a long period of time which i don't normally do with my other supplements and i feel like that is a big possibly a big part of why it had such an effect on me. The other thing is that my blood pressure was already on the low end to begin with. So for me, dropping seven or 10 points is a lot and I feel it can result in symptoms. So that's just my experience. Those are my thoughts on it. What are your thoughts? Do you know of any supplements or anything that can help with lowering blood pressure? I just wanted to share this in case it could be helpful for people who are looking to lower their blood pressure and um, maybe there's potential here. So I hope this video is helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you so much and take care.